What's going on everybody, Blake here, and welcome to Nintendo Talk for December 19th, 2014. So, this is the show where we go over the Nintendo news of the week, and I kind of give you a little recap, and I just discuss and share my opinions with you, the viewer, uh, about this uh, news. So, I didn't really find any uh, interesting stories that I wanted to talk about or go over that I found interesting, so I didn't want to share it. But I did find this one story, so this is the uh, new story, if you're not familiar with it, it, it just came out today, that Nintendo is working on new console ideas, says the creator of Nintendo, I believe, Miyamoto, uh, so you guys should be familiar with that name if you're up to date with anything on Nintendo, so, or I'm sorry, Nintendo Executive and Creative Visionary, Security Miyamoto, so not the creator of the Nintendo, Creative visionary anyway so apparently nintendo is working on a new like console hardware just working on their concepts and ideas which you know that's what most company does most you know like microsoft and sony but it seems it'd probably be a good enough time for nintendo to do that since the wii u is two years old at this point uh it came out in 2012 so he says that we're focused on providing a robust line of Wii U software for next year, he says. It seems like we've managed to do this, to do that this year, and people are very happy with what we've done on Wii U. Uh, that seems about right. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, for the time being, our focus is on the Wii U hardware, but Nintendo as a whole has groups working on, on ideas for new hardware systems. While we're busy working on the new software for the Wii U, we have production lines that are that are working on ideas for what the system might be. So, uh, it goes on, the story goes on to say that uh, whatever comes next out of Nintendo, Miyamoto wants to launch with a new Mario, so it seems. <laughs> and then he goes on to say from early on, I wanted Mario to be the next, to be that character in the digital world, so that with each digital evolution he was there to usher in the next era, he said. I think that maybe when we release the next hardware system, you can look forward to seeing Mario take on a new role or in a new game. So it seems like it's pretty normal that uh, Nintendo's going to have Mario in the game because I feel like Mario is the flagship product for Nintendo, you know, kind of like the uh, mascot, if you will, even though I kind of think that's Pikachu though, but eh, I guess Pikachu is the mascot for Pokemon, but you know, so... And then it goes on to say that uh, that the game, the Wii U games that uh, Miyamoto is personally involved in at the moment is Zelda and Star Fox. And he goes on to say, I like to create gameplay mechanics more than I do stories, he says of the new Star Fox. And he says, uh, the story might not be too different from past Star Fox games, but the gameplay mechanics are going to feel very different because of the two screen system of the Wii U with the gamepad and TV screen. I'll make for a very fun and unique way to play. So, and then he said, as for Zelda, Miyamoto says that it's returning to an open world structure. I uh, can't talk much about it, but one of the things we're working on right now is that you will play, you, as you play, the world will change and be affected by what you choose to do, he added. So, uh, that that's pretty much it on that. Um, but... I mean, it it seems like what he just said about the open world in Zelda and, you know, how you play affects the world. It kind of seems like they're doing what Telltale is doing with, like, the Walking Dead or Tales from the Borderlands or Game of Thrones, etc. How the decisions you make affect how the story plays out and tailors how you play. Even though that's kind of different because it's changing the world. But, you know, I, I think that's pretty cool. And as for with the new Wii U consoles or hardware or whatever their app Nintendo has up their sleeve... You know, I think it would be pretty good because I, th I think Nintendo needs to get, you know, like something out fast and do it quick because Nintendo just seems to be last in this race and they've been last in this, like, console race for a while. I mean, in my opinion, it seems like it's been Microsoft going strong, Sony right behind them, and then Nintendo just slouching behind. I mean, Nintendo was, like, one of the first consoles, I mean, besides the Atari and all this other stuff, but, I mean, it was, like, 
Nintendo had the lead for a while, and then Microsoft and Sony were like, oh, let's make our console. So then they had made their flagship console, the Xbox. You know, I got hooked into it, but... I mean, my first console was PlayStation 1, so if that tells you anything. And then I moved on to a GameCube, then I moved on to the Xbox, then years later down the line, I eventually moved on to a PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and the uh, all consoles we have. So, I haven't had every Nintendo console. I mean, I played the Nintendo 64 when I was very small, and I got in trouble for doing it because it wasn't mine, so, you know, yeah. So... That that's really a, what I what I think on this topic. I think whatever they whatever they have planned up their sleeve, they need to do it fast and then they need to do it now so they can because Nintendo is losing money. All these game uh, consoles are just losing money, and honestly, I don't understand how, but I guess it's it just takes more production value and all that. I mean, I think Nintendo had some monetary gain coming in with these amiibo figures, but now they're discontinuing them, and like I, I've heard that they're putting them like the discontinued ones into card form like that i think that's just stupid like who wants to have a card like oh i got my card i mean i guess they're like pokemon cards now you can like trade them and stuff i mean you could just trade the figures anyway so i think the figures in my opinion are more cool than cards i mean you, you know you'd probably lose a card more than you lose a figure because figure you could, you could just like put on like your desk or something or just you know you would take it with you because i don't know I don't know, I just, I just think whatever they need to do, they need to do it fast and do it now. So, that, that's just my opinion on this. And I think whatever, you know, console Nintendo comes out will be cool. And it might not even be a uh, console, it might even be like a handheld console. You know, I, I don't know, there's lots of ideas floating around, but yeah. So this has been Nintendo News for December 19th, 2014. If you did enjoy this video, you can click that like button down below. And if you really did enjoy, you can subscribe for more uh, Nintendo talk. I said in the blah, blah, blah. I said Nintendo news when I meant to be Nintendo talk. This is a talk show, not news talk. So, yeah. So that's it uh, from you guys. See you guys later on the next Nintendo talk. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>